it's Ashley, and I'm so excited to bring you this video today. Well, actually, not that excited to bring you guys this video today, mostly because it's a really humble experience for me, and I'm constantly eating humble pie about the topic I want to talk to you guys about today. So, this is really embarrassing, but I wanted to make a video and I haven't really practiced this or usually when I make videos, I kind of have like a line of like sheet of things that I want to talk to you guys about. And this one is not like that. If you couldn't already tell because I'm rambling and that's just like, you know, it's my signature move. But um, I wanted to create a video and just a conversation around something that I am just kicking myself about with my business. For those of you that have been following along, my name is Ashley. I run a product-based candle business called Upside Goods Company, and we launched in December of 2020. I always say we, even though it's just me, but it's a habit, probably because I have imposter syndrome about 99.9% .9 of my time in this role. And before that, for the last six years, I've been an entrepreneur running a marketing business, running a mobile yoga studio. And this has been my first go at a product-based business. And so while I came into it, I'm almost looking back wondering, like, was I just being cocky? Like, did I really think I had a handle on all of these things that were going to come up? Or did I just like ignore it? Or, or I don't even know. I, I, I'm making this video today because I feel like I'm at a place with my business where some big changes really need to happen, which is kind of sad because I worked so hard just to make the business what it was. But I want to get in today to this topic that always comes up in the boards and things like that. But rather than coach you guys through it or give advice on it, I more so just want to talk about the pitfalls and the mistakes that I made because it's a huge, huge part of my business. And honestly, I could see this being the demise of my candle business if I don't change it, which I'm actively working to do right now. So let me give you a little bit of backstory. Pricing is absolutely, positively killing me right now. <laughs> and I think, I know, I sadly no gosh this is hard to say but when i created upside goods and i started testing products i wasn't paying attention to the pricing i mean i knew in the back of my mind but as you guys know i went with wooden wick company their marketing is brilliant you know they really did a great job and i just fell in love with their brand and their product and their the quality and while we had some ups and downs i I went full in with what they had and I did research and I knew other brands that were out there. The, the main ones that I use are Candle Science and Flaming Candle for fragrance oils, but I just was drawn to the vessels of Wood & Wick, was drawn to the coconut waxes that they had, was drawn to the fragrances that they had. And quickly after I tested and really knew that I wanted to create a business, I was already in bed with these products and i know that i started making candles because i love candles and it's interesting because i now make a candle that i would consider a splurge candle for me as a consumer and i think that's okay and the price point that i'm at now is where i want to be but my margins are absolute garbage and i think we need to have an honest conversation about this as new infancy stage candle makers that are maybe in that like product testing to launch to first year of business, margins are literally everything. And it's like, I knew this all along, but I just kind of pulled the curtain on it because I didn't want to, I wanted to, I was so focused on making a quality product that I didn't want to let price get in the way and when I started setting my prices to the public, I wasn't even considering wholesale, which was shame on me because I knew I wanted to do wholesale. And so, I don't know guys, I'm just like now, you know, I'm, I'm seven months into this business and I'm just struggling with making a profit and not 
underselling necessarily. I'm selling the value, but I'm not pricing the value, if that makes any sense. And I'm in this in this chokehold because I don't want to raise my prices to the public. So now I'm in this really uncomfortable space where I have to find better ways to save money on the front end and make profit on the back end. I might have gotten those ends mixed up, but either way. And I wanted to make this video today because I wanted to talk you guys through the process that I went through. And hopefully that if it's, you're meeting me in one of those steps, then you can kind of have this red flag waved at you because it's not sustainable. And I don't care who you follow on Instagram or YouTube or anything, if they don't have good margins. And, and it's like, I see someone else, Time out. I see someone else's candles that they clearly use a lot of the same products that I do. And I'm like, you're in the same boat as I am. So let's stop painting this picture like we're all rolling in dollar bills behind the scenes because it's just not, it's not possible. Here's the thing. So I use two different vessels from Wood and Wick. And this is not a knock on Wood and Wick. This is just a bare bones dollars and cents conversation. I use a vessel from Wood & Wick called the Aura Vessel. I use coconut soy wax from whoever has it in stock. I use a Wood & Wick from Wood & Wick Company. I use a Wick Clip from an Etsy seller. I use Wick Stickers from Amazon. I use fragrance oils from all three of the companies I mentioned before. I pour them all out of my home. I don't have any overhead outside of like our mortgage and insurance. Um, my labor, I'm not even paying myself right now, which honestly, that's not a weird thing from the entrepreneurship world that I've been in. And I'm not saying don't pay yourself if you can, but I'm saying if you have the ways to reinvest what would be paid or something like that, that usually works good. The first year, first three years of business is usually like tighten up the bootstraps because it's tough. I digress. You know, I love my tangents. So those are the things that I use to make a candle. I am a couponer, so I literally use my reward perks with Wood & Wick. I buy in as much bulk that I can. My entire left side of my garage is complete storage for me buying quantity breaks. Um, I have bought, I offer two colors in both of the sizes that I use um, of the Aura Vessel and then the tins, which I'm not going to talk about today. but. Yeah, I'm just belly up, you guys. And it is, my most expensive candle costs me about $17 to make. My least expensive candle costs me about $13 to make. I'm pricing my candles at $32. So if I sell to the general public, I'm making a profit. I'm not going to give you smoke and mirrors on that. And it's great, but I'm making my money back. I'm not, I'm not really getting ahead is what I'm trying to say. I'm getting ahead a little bit, sure. But when I now am factoring in things like shipping costs, which are not in my cost of goods sold when I came up with all of this, or I'm not factoring in my labor and my time and my marketing and the time I spend accounting and the time that I spend, I, I don't even know. Like the laundry list is so long and dramatic, I'm not gonna waste your guys' time on that because I'm already at like a bajillion minutes and I really wanted to keep this short, but it's also kind of like a vlog style, so just stick with me, guys. My point being, <laughs> there's a point. I priced myself out of business if I keep going the rate in which I'm going. I've learned this harshly because I have started reaching out to other candle makers. One in particular, um, I hired her to consult me because I really do have big, huge, or what they call big, hairy, audacious goals bag. Um, I have big, hairy, audacious goals, the scary kind for Upside Goods. And I'm certain that you guys at home do too for your businesses. And a word to the wise is I almost think that while we're testing and while we're doing all these things, we need to be so frugal with what we're investing into our products if we're going into a specific price point. 
and I knew my candles were gonna be around $30, but I need my margins to be better. And here's where I really had this aha moment thanks to some consulting and mentorship that I got, but also noticing where my business is in trends right now. I'm on Shopify, I offer wholesale, I am really promoting to realtors and wedding gifts and all of those kind of like customized behind the scenes quantity type of orders. And I'm noticing, especially in these slow months, as I tape this right now, it is June 17th, a day after my birthday. <gasps> birthday, <laughs> sorry. Um, it, I'm noticing that I, it's just not sustainable. Like my business will go belly up. That's just all there is to it. And that makes me so sad because I love this. This has been the most challenging year for me mentally and from a learning perspective and from being a beginner. And I'm just telling you guys that you need to pay attention to price. That's really all it is. Price of the materials that you are making, your raw materials that you are making candles with because I am sitting here eating humble pie on a daily basis and just almost embarrassed. I was embarrassed when talking to a mentor of how much money I am spending on everything that it costs to make one candle. And I felt kind of silly. But then there's this line of I'm brand new into the business. I'm already investing in so many other outlets. Like, you know, I can't go and just buy 10,000 units of a vessel and, you know, a pallet of wax because I'm out of my home. And and so I'm making this video in hopes that you guys are dealing with this too, this stream of consciousness video that you guys are dealing with this. And, you know, one is to ask for help if you are working with different ways around these costs to get them down. Um, if you have any tips or tricks and if you're experiencing this, I I'm just like all the things. Again, this is like a stream of consciousness video. I'm sorry, but I'm also not sorry. And... I'm trying to get all of these things down and I'm really doing a lot of exploration here. I've talked to some people that work with manufacturing over in China. I've looked at Alibaba, which I just don't get a good gut feeling from, so I'm not gonna do that. I am trying to look into different fragrances while still keeping a really high quality, which is what I'm used to with Wooden Wick, but I just am in a hard spot and I've noticed that from the start of my business in December to now, things were really great from December, January, and February. March and April slowed down. I started doing events in April. That helped even out the online sales. Um, and then May and June have been brutal, even with sent releases for my online shop. It's been very, very slow. It's been very, very low. So let me take it back again. December, I didn't do any wholesale. I was just focused on my online shop because that's the greatest profit, but also because that's all I just knew to do. January, I got my first wholesale deal at a local coffee shop. February, I got three more. And then now into June, I think I have eight total consistent wholesale clients. April, go back again, I got my first like custom order for a bunch of like closing gift boxes. I got some wedding stuff, like those were all happening. And you know, you want to discount those to incentivize quantity. Margins were still good. The margins on those are better than wholesale for me. Obviously, I'm basically giving a wholesale away for free um, just for the sake of getting my name out there. And yeah, guys, it's just it's been a lot and I'm trying to figure out how to keep my head above water, how to eventually be paying myself and how to make all of these expenses coming in and going out work fluidly. And I wanted to make this video because looking back on some of the things that I am sharing or I would never call myself an expert. That would just make me cringe and have a deep visceral reaction. But I'm sharing things with a very confident voice because I am very confident about a lot of things with regards to marketing and sales and candles now. But this is my absolute Achilles heel is this pricing. And like I look at these people that are like, oh, well, your wholesale has to be times two. 
and your retail has to be times four. And it's just like, there's no way on God's green earth, and I don't care how much people love me, I don't even think my husband would buy my $18 to, or $16, $17 to make candle times four, which I don't even know what that is, but just shy of like, what? Just like around $70? No. I mean, literally, that's where like the Tom Fords and the Drakes and the Rihannas and everyone else is making candles or they're like artisan candles that are literally like gorgeous, reusable vessels, like 19 wick candles. They're not going to be the aura vessel that I can make that everyone else is making. So I just had to like share this epiphany. I'm now looking at my thing and it says it's 15 minutes, but... This is impromptu. This is unscripted. This is just like my stream of consciousness and my aha moment that like this is not going to be something that I can continue doing, which is working for free. Um, and I want to be a profitable business. I want to be a scalable business. I'm at the point now where I have to hire someone. And if I can't pay myself, how am I going to pay someone else? to do the work that I need them to do at the quality that I need. And so I wanted to have this conversation with you guys and not necessarily in hopes that you're in the same situation, but if you are in the same situation to start that conversation and to let you guys know that I am going to really be documenting this going forward of me trying to combat these issues and these pricing problems and this now new strategy that I'm kicking myself I didn't pay attention to before because I was so invested in product development. And while I kick myself about that, that's not necessarily a bad thing because now I know I have a really good product and I know my prices will not go higher. I'm at the top that I can be at now. I can only work my way back, but I'm going to take you guys along with me. I probably lost you somewhere there in my stream of consciousness, and that's fair. If you have questions about this, if you're in the same boat that I am, send me a life raft, help a sister out. Um, let's try and figure this out together. Also, I'm sitting here and I like had this weird thing where I invested in a Cricut maker. You'll notice that it's not even open. It's been sitting here for four days. This was an investment I made for all of my businesses because I feel like I could bring some things in house that maybe I don't need to be going to larger companies for. Who knows? Maybe not. And it might be returned because I bought it off Amazon. But you guys, I haven't even opened this because this is so overwhelming just to even think about. So also, if you have any good recommendations on Cricut, stuff to watch <sighs> or how to even open the box without extreme anxiety please let me know okay i'm gonna stop talking now bye